is in no short supply of terrible tales, and few more dreadful than the Black Captains of Sauron. I have never laid eyes on them myself, but their descriptions to me are the stuff of nightmares. A man trapped in perpetual agony in armor that does not grow with him. Another cursed for picking up the mace of Sauron after battle. And the mightiest among them, the Black Hand, is not spoken of in passing in these lands. May my beard grow ever longer ere I cross paths with these villains. I'll stick to hunting fair again. The Dwarf shied from the Black Captains as well he should. Only the Black Hand remains now, and I will finish him. Torven, but could you spare a moment to explain what this is all about? We've got a big problem, Talion. A very big problem. I've never known you to think anything was little, Master Dwarf. Now is not the time for jokes, Ranger. My camp was ransacked. Pilfering Uruks made off with all my blasting powder. I'm my brother's axe. The Uruks have your explosive powder? How did this happen? F -f Forget about that. Didn't you hear what I said? They took my brother's... We'll get your axe, but I'm more concerned about the Uruks with the explosives. Do you even know how the powder works? All I know is that if you put a spark to it, exciting things happen. Surely you remember when we first met. These war chiefs may study it, learn how to make more. We must get it back before that can happen. to the south. Find them quickly, Ranger, before they can hide their new treasures. There's no time to spare. I must ride this scum down as fast as I can. Eh? What was that? Blasting powder or Torvin's axe. The thieves must have moved that bounty elsewhere. Oh. 
I need to make haste. These thieves must be stopped at all costs. I found the damned Uruk running off with my brother's axe. A small victory. There's no trace of the blasting powder anywhere. Something that valuable, only the smuggler could deliver it to his dark master. It's better blown up and wasted than in their hands. You'll have to track down his couriers and destroy them along with their cargo. I heard there were two must find and kill the smuggler and his ilk. The blasting powder cannot fall into Sauron's hands. to be distant cousins of the six-tusked Mumakil. Even a great hunter like myself has never brought down one of these beasts as a trophy. But they're not difficult to track. The very earth shakes under their thundering feet. It's wise to keep on your toes when you're around them so you don't end up underneath theirs. I've seen them rampage and crush orc, troll, and man alike into jelly. I'm surprised Torvan hasn't tried to recruit me into hunting one of those mammoths. I've amassed a worthy collection of treasure and trophies, heads and hides from all manner of foul beast, and even some lovely trinkets from the Second Age. But the whispered tales of one artifact continue to elude me. The legendary Forge Hammer, 
used by the elves to craft the rings of power themselves. The hammers I found so far in my hunt have brought me no closer to finding the one I seek. Perhaps the spirit of the elves do not want to see their precious artifact in the hands of a dwarf. Tolven will live. We understand how closely this hammer is bound to our fate, and that of all Middle Earth. Mysterious man in my travels, a ranger of Gondor named Talion. Over our fire, I asked after his weapons. Impressive in their craftsmanship. A handsome blade, Orphael, has been at his side since his days stationed at the Black Gate, defending the borders of Gondor. But his dagger, Achan, carries a sad tale. It too was once a mighty sword, carried by his murdered son, broken the night he died. Talion tells me a cow means vengeance, and I have a feeling the blade will fulfill the meaning of its name. I have slain countless Uruk. But still, I seek vengeance. Much death and destruction. Scavengers are running amok, just hordes upon hordes of filthy ghouls. Filthy ghouls? I thought all of Mordor's creatures were majestic in their own way. Majestic? Ghouls? Now you stop right there, Captain. They are an aberration. Those filthy little mongrels, hiding underground with their beady eyes, gnawing and biting and scratching and... <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd have thought you'd see eye to eye with the little creatures. Are you... Are you comparing me with a ghoul? Oh, I'm glad this plague of ankle biters makes you laugh! Their numbers are growing out of control! They'll overrun all of Nurn! Well, you do have a point. So how can we curb this disease? There's only one way. We need to drag their vile queens from their nests and cut them down. A ghoul hive without a matron is like a meal without ale. Useless! With a sun in the sky. Just terrible. There was no matron. Aye, not this time. Keep rustling their mounds, though. Matrons will come, I promise you. I'm getting a promotion, I know it. So you best start groveling and give me your spare grog now. Come <laughs> on. 
In ghoul filth. I see now why Torvin kept his distance. Good news, Talion. You still haven't matched me for ghouls killed in a single afternoon. Ha! <laughs> For once it is I who has come up short. I'll give you that one, Ranger. But killing this next war chief is going to be a tall order. You see, he rides upon a Graug. You'll have to flood his garrison with ghouls to set our enemies against each other. If these ghouls were ever to become more organized, all of Nurn would be infested in short order. Attention, Ranger! 
I think your right is here. Butcher sending out extermination parties. They're wiping out every creature they can find. They're brutal killers, a lot of them. An ambitious war chief with a well-trained army. Sounds like a challenge. But if you've taught me anything, Master Dwarf, it's that the hunt can always turn against you. I'm not entirely sure what's happening in that mind of yours, Captain. But you've baited the hook now. Come on, out with it! I will bring a Graug to bear against their forces. I will show them Mordor cannot be tamed. Now that's a plan! Not very military, though, is it? You've been spending a bit too much time with me. But there's... Uh, one little problem you should know about. Despite all expectations, your problems are rarely ever little, Torben. Yes, well, then this shouldn't surprise you. These troops have already taken down a growl. Or three? You'll need to lure out a rare, wretched growl. A disgusting relative who's adapted to the poison from all the ghouls they eat. Wretched Grog. Isn't that a bit redundant? I'm not sure what redundant is, but if it means poisonous, then yes, they are extremely redundant. All right, Master Dwarf. Show me how to lure these creatures out, and I will do the rest. <laughs> Just a few scouts tangling with those ghouls. They should make easy prey. Put up your blade, murderers! Your savagery comes to an end this day! This is in our hands, I believe. Butcher may have lost his ranging parties, but as long as he remains safe in his stronghold, he'll train more of those killers. Show him the safety he can expect with a wretched Graug at his doorstep. <laughs>
Even the Uruks fear the monstrosities of Mordor. They must kill the Butcher and keep the Orcs afraid. <sighs> Having to worry about how to stop the ranger. Our war chief opens his gob and everyone stops and listens. set on fire the other day. <laughs> you should have drunk less grog and watch where you was going. It wasn't the grog, it was them archers. All oh, those bloody flaming arrows. They nearly burned down the camp last month. <clears throat> Someone's sneaking about.
This Uruk's been killed! Enjoy finishing each of you off. Don't kill me. I would die from that. One good shot is all I need! Things in Mordor cause even the Uruks and trolls to quake in fear. And one such beast is the rare horned Graug. Standing nearly five dwarves tall, they're nigh unstoppable juggernauts of wanton destruction. Their very skin is tougher than leather, resistant to even the sharpest steel, if you can get close enough to strike a blow. But I wouldn't give for a mithril blade on my next hunt for these dire monstrosities. I wonder what the dwarf is obsessed over, now that his hated Graug is slain. 
Gremlins when you got a bit of an audience. spot for a bite. Bring out the soft skin meat! Whoa! 
won't suffer you, I won't neither. Let me live! I have talent! is out! Say your teeth. Enough ceremony. Face me and die.
He's a traitor! You think I'm here? execute you all until you're dead! Release me! I serve the Dark Lord! No more living for battle! Things that have just moved! Probably was just wrecked! Need to stab something. Whose turn is it to be stabbed? Ambush! Let's keep some alive for fun! What's that? I believe you! Down with Trump! 
You do realize you're here to die, right? I'll pop your eyes out with my own fingers! Looking. I'm sure I smelled something just now. 